Hi guys, welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. I know they're few and far in between this year and that's for good reason. We've had two months of sheer hell here in North Texas. Now the weather is finally broken, the rain has stopped and it's 90, about 98 degrees today. So we went from a, a solid spring, a lot, a lot, a lot of rain to no rain and bluebirdish skies in less than a week. So things are uh, settling down a little bit. There, I'm on Lake Ray Roberts here in North Texas and just still on the search for these carp because uh, they're dropping this lake really quickly, well, fairly quickly. Um, we're at the top of the Trinity River chain of lakes, so when we drop our water into the next lake, which is Louisville, then it goes up and they have to drop, and, and so it's been really tough because there's so much water. <laughs> And Louisville's in a lot worse shape than we are with high water. Our water's come down drastically in the last couple of weeks. I'll put up a graph and show you the the, uh, the pool levels and everything um, right about now. And as you can see, you know, we're going down. We're not where we need to be yet because what happens, coming back here now, what happens is there's tiers to our flats. And so it's too high on one tier and obviously too, t too high on the next tier. The drawdown happens sometimes so quickly off a of flat that that uh, one that's too high is, is dry and then the next one is still a little high. So we're in a weird situation. What we're hoping is is that they will uh, slow the draw. And for those of you who've been watching for a while, today is July the 7th. 2019 and it's a very very special day in my life this marks four years since I was diagnosed with cancer they didn't know when they called me on the phone I was in Alabama and uh, they didn't know what kind of cancer it was at the time they just knew I had it and it was in my head so that was a pretty scary little vacation when I went to pick up this boat actually after that after being diagnosed while I was on the road to get the boat um, Went and got my lagoon skiff from a &L Fiberglass down in Cocoa, Florida. And the name of this boat is Coco, K-O-K-O, based on a fantastic gem of a song by ZZ Top called Coco Blue. Anyway, four years behind me, um, no more recurrences. It was stage four throat cancer. So they put it to me pretty good, as you might observe over the many years of videos that are on this channel. I started in 2008. But uh, between year three and four were great, was a great year when I started to feel like myself again and also started to uh, have more body weight for one thing and more energy for another. There's a whole plethora of things that go wrong when they stick your head in a microwave oven, essentially a radiation oven for about two minutes, 35 times. Um, it's kind of tough on the head, but they got it. And I'm very optimistic, of course. I got one more year to go for that five year thing, which to me is probably just a way to keep me going back for appointments one more year. But that's the medical world we live in right now or some people live in. Anyway, I hope you got information here. I always try to start locally. Uh, the thing is, is that as you move down these chains of, 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 of lakes and the rivers continue to the ocean, or Gulf of Mexico, we got a lot of fresh water in the Gulf. It's, it's a well-known fact, it's going on. So what you wanna do if you're going to the Gulf, there's still plenty of fish to catch. I'm going next uh, two weeks from now going to Port O'Connor um, with a friend, an old friend. But what you want to do is check the actual current charts. And you want to find a place that maybe swirls and leaves some water alone with higher salinity because that way the fish are headed towards pockets of salinity now. So there's plenty of fish to catch. They're concentrated in, in saltier water. It'd be interesting if we had a way to measure the salinity off our boats. And I'm, I'm sure that the guys at uh, Lawrence are gonna come up with something like that. But 
for now, just look for high salin higher salinity than what's generally in these bay systems because they're overrun with fresh water. And that is the case all the way to Louisiana because Mississippi River, of course, drains right on the Midwest. So it's really dumping fresh water. We think part of this uh, situation leads to, and what we I've seen first, second hand via a photograph is, is Texas tarpon, and they just seem to get be getting more and more reports as time goes on about tarpon in Texas. But to get the breakdown, the real breakdown, stay till the end of the video and go ahead and watch the um, scroll from TPWD. This is Sunday, July 7th. I'll run, and that comes out on Thursday. So this this report that's on here, and they may not have done one actually. They may have taken the holiday. But if they did, I'll put it on there and uh, it'll be a few days behind. Don't forget to watch other shows. I, I'm glad you watched my show. Please subscribe. Please go to the Texas Flycaster website more than anything else, www.texasflycaster.com because there's a lot more details there than there is in this one video. So make sure you go there. Another consequence of cancer. Anyway, make sure you go there and um, Hit the search on that and search for what you're looking for, and it will give you a list of all the stories related to that if I've got them, if I do them. Generally, my, my fly fishing over the last 12 years has gone from the high mountains of Colorado and evolved into a, a Texas thing where I spend a lot more time in Texas, a lot more fly fishing time um, covering the Texas beat. And that means especially when I get a chance, and I'm going to have more chances this year than in years, the last few years because of sickness and all. Um, I'm going to have more chances for salt this year. So that's pretty cool. And it's going to happen really soon. So the fishing is off here at, at Ray Roberts. There's not a lot of carp showing. Um, I'm still searching. I've searched for three days and caught one fish. So that gives you an idea how tough it is. Uh, it's going to get better, and then it's going to get worse because of the heat. So we're going to have a window in about a week, so about July 13th weekend, 12th, 13th, 14th, whatever that is. Um, this lake will be on, in my belief, and then it'll, it'll, it'll get so hot in another two weeks, the end of July, it'll, it'll shut down. It'll be over for a while until it cools off again a little bit. Thanks for watching. I'm sure I left some stuff out. You know, I, I'm glad that I have great sponsors, and one of those sponsors is Sims Fly Fishing. I'm going to show you these shorts, and then I'm going to put out a video on these shorts. The next video that comes out is going to be on these uh, great shorts by Sims. Let me show these to you. The one, the one thing I think about these is they, they run just generally kind of blousy. I call it American Cut. That means fat. And I'm not fat, so it's very problematic when you got this much fabric on a size 30, 34. That's 11 inch seam though. I'm looking for the longest pants I can get. I'd rather wear a dress than, a, than pants really, but that's just me. This one, I don't know, I see the name of the style on it, but this is the one, it's got the regular back zip pocket on one side, the other on that side, little thin pocket here for something, a <laughs> pen or pencil I guess, I don't know why that little pocket's there. And I'll put the style on these at the bottom on the scroll once I, it doesn't say it just readily on the tag. Ah, this is the skiff short. So that's the skiff short. I'm going to do a review of those, put them on, see how they work. And then this one, I'm just digging on this color. This is called the Super Light Short Gray Blue, which is a perfect camo color for what we do. And it's got the weirdest, weirdest waistline I've ever seen. It's got this thing going on in the waist in the front for the really fat people, you know? This looks like a winner. Um, and who knows, I may end up really fat before this is over with. That elastic in the front, see there's even a, a gap there so that, that gap right there makes me wonder what the heck's going on but they got some stretch in the front they used to have stretch feels like it might go all the way around a little bit but it used to be in the back and it wore out but anyway that's a sims product i love their stuff obviously and this one is a super light short and it's a size medium so this is a waist size 
this is just a medium. Again, very blousy, <laughs> very big. So that's gonna be a problem for me. I don't like that, I have skinny legs. So we'll get your review on these and see how they look on a skinny legged boy. You guys have a great week. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out www.texasflycaster.com for more great information about fly fishing in Texas. Let's begin year five, starting tomorrow. And one, one year, um, four going into five. Uh, looks like uh, we're gonna get to that five year golden moment when I'm cancer free and cured. I guess cured is at five years been cancer free thanks for watching guys thanks for riding this out with me um, we will see you again sooner rather than later probably some stuff from port o'connor i would certainly hope so with all the power we're bringing down there to bear have a great week and i'll see you probably in a, a week two weeks something like that we're just not doing these reports as regularly because it's been a horrible horrible spring for fishing in texas and especially fly fishing thanks for watching